ignore I'm just super excited you know today was an exciting day ignore this too I went to the beach beach let's go get away but I went to the beach a fucking week ago and um I don't tan I don't really care about tanning anymore I used to I bought this like tanning lotion it looked like I had cheese cheeto fucking thighs it was just great anyways today we are gonna talk about the annual hunger games or should we call it my gala? Ah. So there's this influencer, TikTok influencer. Her name is Haley Bailey. She kind of mm, posted something kind of very insensitive on TikTok. I'd like to meet cake. So yeah, she got a shit ton of backlash, okay? I didn't think anything of it because I didn't know what she was saying. But after reading the comments, just like scrolling through the comments, I was like, oh, why would you? Oh gosh, oh gosh. And the only reason I'm saying like, oh gosh, oh gosh, is because she has a team, like your PR team, whatever, the, the people that you have, your management team, whatever. So when you have that, somebody should go, hey, maybe this isn't like the best thing to post on your TikTok. So for those of you guys that don't know what the let them eat cake means, I'm gonna bring my cutie husband historian person to talk about it. So here's um history expert Xavier Lefebvre coming to you live. Three two one all right so <laughs> so let them eat cake is a quote commonly attributed to the last queen of france mm -hmm. marie antoinette it's historically disputed whether or not she actually said it but the story goes that prior to the french revolution when there was a lot of famine and starving throughout france mm -hmm. when she was presented with this issue her response was let them eat cake, just showing how out of touch with reality and the reality of the situation because of her pompous royal lifestyle. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. So while a lot of people are struggling, you can see as to why maybe this might have caused an uproar on social media. Now let's talk about the Met Gala, baby. So this year's theme was Sleeping Beauty's reawakening fashion, and the official dress code was The Garden of Time. Apparently the Met Gala is a fundraising event. The Met Gala is a charity event and fundraiser for the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute. It has traditionally been timed to mark the opening of its annual fashion exhibition. Year after year, the event raises eight figure sums. So in my head, I'm like, oh, fundraising event, right? The tickets start at a very reasonable price of 75k. Oh, but you want more? Well, entire tables cost 350k. That is insane. And I was reading that usually it ranges from 450 people to 750 people that attend the Met Gala. Let's, let's just do that math real quick, okay? Let's just say 650 people attended um, times that by, um, you know, just a cool 75K. That's a reasonable 48,750,000. Yep. I'm really not an art expert, but do they really need that much money? Like, I'm genuinely asking, is that not enough? Is that too much? Or is that just like the perfect amount that, that they need? I just... And that's not even on top of the garments that they're showing up with. Thousands of thousands of dollars on someone's body. Just the over extravagance of this event is just insane to me. And I'm not gonna deny, like some of these pieces are literal art. Like I think it's beautiful. My thing is when is it too much or when is enough enough? I'm very much into pop culture gossip. Like I like that type of stuff. Like when I was little, I was reading those teen magazines, like who wore it better. I love that type of stuff. When is it too much is basically my question. Is it gonna just keep getting bigger and bigger when there's people and the economy? <laughs> you, you get where I'm going with this, okay? Like, yeah, all these beautiful garments, but like, meanwhile, this is happening, you know? And I just feel like with celebrities, we tend to glorify them a lot, have noticed a lot of parasocial relationships. And I think it's also because we're just so attached to our phones. They don't care about you. Like, I promise you, yeah, like there's some celebrities that I do think that they're humble and and I do think that they're like, you know, my fans mean everything, but sometimes it passes that line where it's like, it's no longer healthy for you. That's not what I'm talking about. Anyways, back to le fashion. Let me just show you some of the costs of these uh, garments. Kim Kardashian wore a custom, no idea design at the 2023 Met Gala. And according to reports, it was million dollar creation because of the expensive pearls used to make it. In 2016, Beyonce wore a custom made Givenchy dress for the Met Gala. According to reports, her outfit was encrusted with real pearls 
petals and made from 100% to lay what? To la lay, to lay lee latex making it worth millions of dollars. In 2022, Kim wore Marilyn Monroe's iconic crystal embellished gown to the Met Gala. It was sold to Ripley's, believe it or not, in 2016 for $5 million. Emma Chamberlain wore a custom Louis Vuitton dress at 2022 Met Gala and she paired it with the Patiala, oh my goodness, what? Pat whatever necklace which is valued at over $30 million. Back in 2015, Rihanna walked up the red carpet at the Met Gala in whatever omelet dress. The exact price of the gown is unknown, but whatever custom design often start at $1 million. Is it on the dress because it resembles an... <laughs> What? <laughs> and this year it was um, Camila Cabello. So basically, I think she's really pretty. I really like her music. But that's besides the point, okay? She shows up with a block of ice and it was so funny because this block of ice wasn't even supposed to be a clutch or, the, you know, she was holding it, but it was literally like holding a block of ice. It was supposed to be a purse, but the straps came off. So she just held a literal block of ice. Now, how much do you think this block of ice is worth? You're wrong. There's no way that you could possibly guess how much it's worth. 22.5. K. Why? Let's read. The 22.5 handcrafted ice purse for the Met Gala took 85 hours to complete. It has a handcrafted rose with pure lines made of 18K rose gold. Set with flawlessly cut 0.50 carat diamonds and water from the Nevas in Germany. That water better be like the cure for old age or something, like the fountain of youth type of water because like I do not understand. And this literal block of ice because it's ice and your hand is hot, it's melting it. So it's literally just just money just getting melted. So I really hope that they put the block of ice back in the freezer because it's worth so much money. I just, oh my God, I just don't know. Um, I feel like it's, you know, impermanence and um, things decaying over time and the beauty in that. So there's kind of rips towards the ends of my dress. Right. Um, and you know. And your ice block is melted. It's literally melted. It's literally melted. Yeah, feel it. Look at my hand. What's crazy is that I, I've been kind of telling everybody, it was a purse, but then it, it broke like five minutes into being in line. So I called my, I was, I was like, what do I do? I was like, F I'll take it as a clutch. So, you know, we're just trying things here is all we're doing. That for me was just like the icing to the cake. You see what I sing to the cake? Because that was just like, oh my. Like imagine, honestly, like if they just gave me the block of ice and I sold the block of ice, I'd be fine. No financial burden. Like that's what I'm saying. Like these celebrities have abundance of money. There's more than enough to go around for all of us. So it's just crazy that they are able to spend it on ridiculous things. Because honestly, like if you look up some of the stuff that your celebrities that you really like, the, the stuff that they spend their money on, it really just, yeah, puts things into perspective. Sometimes you can't even justify the stuff that they're spending their money on, you know? If you earned it, that's fine, but I really do think that there's a way to be humble about it. And sometimes when they get involved in politics and try to act like they're normal, like they're not, and I just, yeah. <laughs> there's also something so funny that I found. So I really, really love the movie, The Devil Wears Prada, and it was like based off Anna Wintour. I think she's like something to do with Vogue. But anyway, is she banned certain foods just because she didn't like it at the night. I thought it was so funny. I was like, oh my gosh. Like imagine just being that, their status is all the way up here that you could control what everyone else eats because, because you don't like it. Like that's so crazy to me. Like, is it true that you have banned chives, onion, and garlic off the menu? Well, those are three, um, <laughs> three things I'm not particularly uh, <laughs> fond of and so yes, that's true. They live in a whole different world. Also, when I was doing research, there's this one thing I screenshotted that I was I was just freaking dying. The Met Gala has always had one mission and that is to raise money for the important work. Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Wintour has said, important work. You know, I'm half joking, half being serious. It is what it is. It's gonna keep happening. I just think it's still something so insane that happens. So crazy, the times that we live in. I guess I just circle back to like, when is it too much? It is what it is. Interesting to say the least. I don't know what else or how else to describe it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.